Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a custom animated Fortnite loading screen from scratch. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today, we are taking a look at how to create your own custom animated Fortnite loading screen, just like Dakota's uses, just like uh, CD and the Third uses. So when they get into a Fortnite match, they can use this new awesome custom loading screen that can say whatever you want. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make that as well as providing a really awesome template for you guys to download so that you can create your own one without all the work and without all the animation. Now this idea was given to me by I believe MonkeyCon is his his name here is the uh, the comment where he suggested it and if you guys give me ideas for videos and I actually make the videos using your ideas I'll be sure to shout your guys's comment out where I got the idea but we are going to show you how to make the Fortnite loading screen and the first thing you got to do is you got to open up Fortnite and record what you want your loading screen to be real quick guys before we jump into the tutorial I just wanted to say before we get started it is a little bit advanced the way you have to go into the Fortnite record green screen footage bring into After Effects green screen out the person so if you guys do not want to worry about that if you want to use one of the dances I've pre-created and just use the template not worry about creating any of your own dances any of your own green screen stuff skip to this time code right here this is where I start talking about how to just utilize the template. You don't have to worry about any of the advanced. Just create the template, change the text, and export it how you want. Go to this time code and you can skip all the crazy stuff. But let's get in to the Fortnite stuff. Before you do anything in creative mode, you got to go up into your settings and you need to go to the settings cog over here, scroll all the way down, and make sure that record creative replays is on. It is default to off, so make sure you come in and select this to on because then you need to record replay so you can go in and grab your green screen dances and whatnot. Everything takes place in creative for this, so make sure you're recording those replays. But now on to the tutorial. So we just need to go into the locker and pick out our skin setup. So we're gonna jump into my skins here and see what I want to do. Hmm, how about this girl? All right, and now you just want to jump into a creative map. So we're gonna launch our own creative server, and now would be a great time, instead of using Fortnite's loading screen, to use our own. So here is our loading screen. We got a nice animated one instead of Fortnite's boring one, and I got it to say whatever I want over on the side. So that's pretty cool. But we have loaded into creative mode here, and you're just gonna go over to your little rift selection thing here where you can create your islands, and you want to just create a new island that's like one of these flat, I guess it doesn't have to be, but I prefer to make one of these like flat islands here, like the block one or something. And as you can see, as we dive in, you're gonna notice what we are here to do. We have created a small little green screen setup. Now you can do this really easily. You just wanna go into the creative inventory, you want to go to galleries and you want to just scroll down in galleries and you will find a gallery that looks like wait for it wait for it this here these little colored blocks ones you just want to grab one of those equip it and then in your inventory throw it out and you'll get this big old wall of blocks. So the top color on the green column is by far the best for a green screen. So we're just gonna go up here, right click it, take it away, and we can build our green screen. You can hit V, unless you've rebinded it, hit V on the keyboard. You can see it over there on the left to snap to the grid, and that makes it a little bit easier to build something like this. So we're just gonna place it down here, left click to place one, and then we're just gonna go up here and just kind of place one like that there we go and that is it that is all you have to do that is the green screen you created you can see i created one over here you just need to place two blocks like that and then you just want to hop into the middle of your green screen here face out towards this and then just select your dance that you want to do so let's select hmm what do we want to do for this girl maybe boogie down yeah we'll do boogie down so we'll just sit here and let her dance for a little bit um, I normally let it dance till it's completed a full loop, one or two loops, so that when you do bring it into After Effects, you can loop the dance so that uh, she can dance forever as long as you want the loading screen up. So we're just going to let her sit and dance for a little bit. All right, guys, and I think that's enough. So now we're just going to exit out, but we're going to go back to hub. That is very important. So once you're back here, then you can just go backwards in creative and go to these rifts that will take you to the main island. And this is where you're going to select the background that goes behind her. Now, if you're using my template and you want to use my pre-created backgrounds that I've already gone in and taken photos of, you can just create the dance, back out, go grab it, and then just jump into After Effects. You can skip this part if you've already wanting, if you already wanted to use my template. Um, but if you want to create your own background, let's go into what's something I don't have I don't really have a snowy background so let's go and create a snowy background so we're gonna go to polar peak and then we just kind of fly around load everything in 
And then once you've done that, once you've loaded up all of Polar Peak here, we can then just back out and then we go into replay mode. So now you just wanna hit leave creative now that you've loaded the island and uh, we're gonna go into replay mode. All right guys, so we're here in replay mode and you just kind of scrub forward until you find where you land on the green screen like that. You position the camera nice and wait till she starts dancing here. Beautiful, there we go. So we've got our dance and you just wanna position the camera right here in front so you see the whole body. So then you just wanna hit H on your keyboard once you get it to the right spot. Make sure her feet are in there, just like that. Hit H on the keyboard and that's going to hide the HUD so you don't see anything. So we just got this right here. Then you just need to open up OBS, record the dancing on the green screen just like you would any other Fortnite footage and then you're done with the green screen part. All right, here we go, recording on OBS and then I'm just gonna hit play and here we go. All right guys, so I think that's enough dancing, so then we can hit H and bring up our HUD again to where we can see this. Go ahead and scrub forward and creative some more, and you'll see where you went to the main island. So, let's keep scrubbing forward, and there we go. We've loaded in the main island. We can go ahead and pause that because we do not need any kind of uh, any playing anymore. Go ahead and change this to drone free, and then we can just move around and grab a cool screenshot. So, what do we think? What do we think would be cool? All right, guys, so after searching around in the snow for a little bit, I've just decided that I'm going to leave it at this. A nice little happy Hamlet shot over here from on the mountain. So I'm going to hit H until my HUD disappears just like that. Wait till all the graphics on the screen disappear and then just record on this for a little bit in OBS. Once again, you can take a screen grab if you want using any kind of program, but I like to just record in OBS a couple seconds and then I'll freeze frame it later in um, After Effects. So there we go, we pretty much done. That's it right there. We're done in Fortnite and now we can go into After Effects with all of our footage. All right guys, so here we are in After Effects and this is the project for the custom Fortnite loading screens. As you can see, we've got the DJ Llama here. We've got the John Wick version here and we've got the white biker girl um, one here. So now we're just going to create our new one with the uh, onesie de burger girl. So what you're going to do if you bring in your own footage and you want to create your own one, not in the template, you're going to go up to composition, new composition, go ahead and make sure all the settings here are right, 1920 by 1080, and then 60 frames per second, everything looks good. We're going to hit OK, then you just need to bring in your footage. So we've got the footage we just shot here with the onesie girl. So we've got the green screen stuff here. And then you're also going to bring in your footage of the Happy Hamlet photo, which we've got here on the back end of this. So here it is. So if you recorded your background in OBS like I did, you need to create a screenshot from this. You're just going to right click on your um, layer that has that background. You're going to go up to time and freeze frame. So once you do that, then you can extend this as much as you want. It is pretty much just a photo now inside of After Effects. So you can just ignore that. You've got your background created now. Now we want to focus on the green screen. This is where it's going to get a little bit more complex. If you have another editor that you are comfortable doing green screen work in, you can do it in there if you want, because After Effects, it is a very complex green screening process. Um, that's just because it gets you the best results, but you can green screen however you want to. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how you want to do it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to mask out all these parts that aren't green. So we're going to select our layer that's got the green screen dance on it. We're just going to go ahead and grab this pen tool and we're just going to draw just a real basic shape around what we are wanting to take out. And I'm actually going to move it up like this, like that. So now she should remain inside of that box when she dances around. Nope. See her head goes out. So we just want to raise this up, make sure that she stays in the box always. There we go. So she never leaves the box now. Oh, her feet get very close to leaving the box, but that is it. We're good. So now we just need to apply the green screen effects. We're going to go over to our effects here and type in key light. So key light 1.2, that's the version we're on right now. Um, if you don't see 1.2, it's because you have an earlier version. It's fine. Just drop it on key light. You're going to drop it onto your green screen footage here and you want to select the lighter green. Now I have, um, there's certain times when the darker one works better, but in this case for some reason in Fortnite the lighter green works better so this little screen color here you're going to grab the dropper you're going to select the light green you're going to see a lot of it disappear but not quite all of it to get a good key you're going to want to click where it says final result go to screen mat and everything that is white will stay in everything that is black will be removed so we want to go down to screen mat here and we can start messing around with clip black to make the whole background black and then we can mess around with clip white if your character starts to lose some of its white. So there we go, looks good. We can go back to final result and you can see we've got this fairly good 
key here. Now you can leave it at this, but to make it a little bit nicer looking and a little bit more professional, we got to go really in depth. So you're going to duplicate the layer down here that your green screen footage is on by hitting command or control D. The bottom layer here, you're going to go up into effects controls and delete key light. So the bottom one does not have key light. The top one does. On this bottom one, go to where it says track mat none or TRK mat, and then go ahead and select alpha mat the top one, alpha mat, and you'll see you get a better looking green screen effect. We get a little bit of green around the edges, but we're gonna fix that right now. So you can go up into the top um, one here that has key light on it, above it, you're gonna go to screen mat and shrink and grow. This is where you want to uh, go down because that will then cut into your character. So as you can see, if we zoom in here, if you go out, you see it'll add back in the green, if we shrink it, it'll cut into her body a little bit. So we're going to cut in maybe about two there. That's looking pretty good like that. And then we just want to add a spill suppressor. That is the end of it. So sometimes when you do green screen work, you can still see a little bit of a green hue around their body. And if you do see that green hue, a bit of a, to where you can tell it's green screen, you want to come over here to your effects and type in spill suppressor. So right there, spill suppressor, we're going to drop that onto the bottom one that goes on this bottom layer that does not have key light. So drop it on there, set this color to a nice green color, and that'll suppress all the green colors that were coming through from your green screen effect. But that is the end of what you needed to do. Your green screen footage is now keyed out. As you can see, if we play through it here, it's, not, it's going to be really hard to play because green screening takes a lot. But as you can see, we got a nice green screen shot of her dancing and it looks fantastic because after effects keying is fantastic all right guys so now that we've got the keying done what you want to do is you want to go through your dance and try to find where you can make the dance loop so as you can see if you place the in and out points at the right spot when it gets to the end of the end point here it's going to loop back around to the beginning and that's what you want you want to make sure you set your in and out points at the perfect spot to where you see when i hit play she's going to dance and it's going to perfectly loop. So when it resets, it's now at the beginning of the dance again. So as you can see, we've got this small little like four second clip, but it's now an infinity, infinite dancing clip of her because I found the perfect loop point. So that's what you need to do with your dance. Whatever one you choose, if you don't want to use one of mine, you just got to make sure it loops like that. And then it's time to get into the fun stuff. So now that you've got the green screen keyed out, now that you've got her dance looping perfectly, we can now start to have some fun. Like we can scale her up now place her in the corner here just like that where she's dancing all nice and then we just need to blur out the background so we're going to go over here to our effects and type in gaussian blur we're going to grab gaussian blur drop it onto our happy hamlet background and then we can just begin to blur it out you can blur it out as much as you want just like that we get a nice little depth of field look with the blur and then that is pretty much it. That's all you guys got to do because I've already created the entire sidebar for you. So if you go back into your project, go into the comps here, you're going to see we've got a comp called sidebar. You just drop that comp on top of everything and boom, just like that. It goes from having a really weird green screen dancing girl at Happy Hamlet to having a full blown Fortnite loading screen. And you can easily change. She jumps a little off screen right there. We might need to adjust that. But there you go. You've got your custom Fortnite loading screen. We just created it right there in front of you guys. Took no time at all. It's super easy if you want to use your own dances, but even easier if you want to use my dances. So now I'm going to show you guys real quick how to edit the little sidebar to say whatever you want. And if you want to use the dances and backgrounds that I already have, that's all you need to do. You just need to edit the sidebar to say your name, whatever you want it to say, and then you're done. You can export. You don't have to go into Fortnite at all. You can use any of my dances, any of my backgrounds, just edit the sidebar and then you're done. So let's go ahead and get into that real quick. All right, guys. So when you open up the template in After Effects, you're going to be greeted with a screen that looks like this. We've got five compositions. We've got DJ Llama, which is DJ Llama dancing here. We've got John Wick doing the L dance here. We've got White Biker Girl doing this crazy dance here. And then we've got the one we just created, the onesie girl doing the boogie down emote. We just created that earlier in the video. And you can use any four of these to make your loading screen. If you don't want to go into Fortnite, if you want to save some time and just use one of these, you can. And each one of these compositions, as you can see, has all of these locations. And you can choose whatever you want. So right now, as you can see, we've got sunny steps selected the little eyeball next to sunny steps is active so if we turn on og dusty and turn off sunny steps you'll see it puts him at dusty if we turn off dusty turn on skeleton plus island we get the skeleton 
from the fight and you can see the floating island kind of in the background if we turn off sidebar you see it back there looks really cool sidebar mostly covers it though then we can turn on the meteor one we've got the meteor about to hit factories we can turn on the floating island and we got just a floating island in the background and then the one we created today you can put happy hamlet behind him as well so each one has their own every single background that you can add in and they all look awesome with each dance so we got dj llama right here just dancing at happy hamlet so whichever one you want to use you just go through if you want john wick dancing at og dusty you turn that on you go to john wick's comp you turn on og dusty if you want john wick dancing at happy hamlet you turn on happy hamlet instead of og dusty if you want the white biker girl dancing at the floating island you turn on the floating island behind her it is super easy guys and each one of these compositions is also set to the exact length so that the dance will perfectly loop so as you can see this john wick one this is only one second long or 1.3 seconds long is how long this comp is but as you can see once it loads in it perfectly loops the dance so that as you can see as the playhead loops around the dance continues on so you can export only 1.3 seconds of this put it into your OBS and as it loops it's just going to look like it's sitting here forever it's awesome so the DJ Llama one is uh just over eight seconds for it to fully loop the white biker girl is the longest it's about 16 seconds for the dance to fully loop and then the onesie girl is just over four seconds for it to current to completely loop around so that's pretty much it guys now you just need to edit your sidebar so if you go over to the sidebar comp here you've got just this you can change the color of the solid if you want but i would just leave it the same how it is in fortnite and then you've just got all of these text layers you can see we've got three bullet points that you can turn on and off if you need to and then you've got your text layers here so we've got um to subscribe right here so you can turn that on and just change it to say whatever you want we've got weekend to be sure these are all from the trailer by the way that's why it says something crazy and you just select it here and type whatever you want and then you got coming this you just select it and you can just type bravity m just like that so you just type whatever you want over here on this side uh we got battle royale up here i would leave that if but you can change that maybe you can have that say your stream name have this say bravity m and then have these say whatever you want i'm going to change everything back to how it was and then you got your loading screen down here or your loading bar down here you can just leave that it's just going to sit there and run the loading bar just sits there and just runs so Whenever you create your own one, just drop this sidebar comp on top, as you can see here, and you got a sidebar. It's all very simple, guys, um, but that's pretty much it. Just get out there and uh, make some Fortnite loading screens. It is uh, it's a really, really fun process. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. This template took quite some time to make to get everything green screened and looping correctly to create the loading bar, to create all the backgrounds that you can choose from. But it was really worth it because I made some awesome loading screens here, I think personally. And if you guys like them, please make sure to like and subscribe and download this template, create your own loading screens, and please send them to me on Twitter. I'd love to see, especially if you guys go in and create your own dances on the green screen, go take your own photos in the Fortnite map, please send those to me. I really want to see them at BravityM. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you with another one. Peace out.